As officers in the tight knit community of Fairway are grieving, many are still out serving the community. And KNBC 9's Matt Evans shows us how a local group is steering and stepping in to support first responders. As people here in Fairway try to find some way to help this grieving department, some by bringing flowers, others by donating to fundraisers. But one local group is stepping up in a much deeper level to help those officers in a time of need. I was always told you can't think if you're emotional, so you just got to wipe it out of your head. Well, that works great for a while. Former Lenexa police officer Pat Hinkle knows that better than most. He served there for nearly 30 years before becoming a therapist and now works with first responders that are in need of help. And so it occurred to me, um, gosh, if I was in that other seat, maybe people would trust me and talk to me if they knew my background. His organization, the first responder support team Midwest, was at the scene Sunday where Officer Oswald was shot to offer their services to police, firefighters, and EMS crews there and has continued supporting fairway officers this week. Over the years, we've been able to develop this response. We don't ask, we don't wait to be called. We go straight to the scene. Their ultimate goal is to train more first responders in peer support. So we began to teach that because we knew that they'd be in the front line. In other words, when there's a tragedy, there may be a peer support person trained somewhere on scene and they can step right in and start doing the things that a counselor would do. Because the faster they have access to these systems, the sooner they can get help. It's just a matter of minutes, literally, before the next call goes out. In Fairway, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. Now, to get more information on the work of these first responders, go to frstmidwest.org. Johnson County, Kansas Sheriff's deputies are stepping in to cover patrols for Fairway Police. Their department is made up of only eight officers. The Sheriff's Office says they never hesitated to help. It's something that we do for each other. It's the brotherhood, sisterhood that we have. Uh, when they ask for help, we give them that help, and we definitely want to make sure that, that the city of Fairway knows that they have law enforcement here, that their tight-knit community is continue to be patrolled and, and safe. Deputies say they plan to stay as long as they are needed. You have options to help Officer Oswald's family too. The QR code on your screen will take you to a donation link where you can contribute. Also, local price chopper stores will be connecting and collecting money at checkout. 100% of donations go directly to his family. Officer Oswald leaves behind a wife and two children.